Hello dears, I welcome you all to my geography class. In today's video, we are going to discuss about volcanoes. So this particular topic or particular chapter deals with causes and distribution of volcanoes and different types of volcanoes based on central and feasor eruption. So let us see first with the introduction. Now the core of the earth is still very hot due to the release of the internal heat various type of forces develop in the interior of the earth now the forces which develop below the earth's surface in the interior they are termed as endogenic forces there are mainly two types of movement caused by endogenic forces namely sudden movement and slow movement the earthquake and volcanoes are included in sudden movement right so two movement caused by endogenic forces they are sudden movement and slow movement the example of sudden movement is earthquake and volcanic eruption slow movement results into the movement of tectonic plates and formation of mountains okay so this is all about the introductions of volcanoes let us see what are the causes uh, causes for volcanic eruption so basically we see in different videos that volcanoes coming out a volcanic eruption taking place magma coming out from the magma chamber so why it is happening what is the reason behind this first reason is due to water heat and pressure now water percolates down from the surface of the earth through many cracks and joints or fissures so due to the hot magma lying beneath this uh, the water is heated and the same water converts into steam now this steam this steam exerts tremendous pressure on the overlying layers of the rock which we call it as crust and often escaped out with an explosion <clears throat> so due to the pressure of this steam they comes out in the form of explosion so often this is also followed by overflow of hot magma material from the interior so this molten material is termed as magma so the magma flow from the beneath to the surface through the crevices or cracks in this upper layer from formed mainly by the tremendous pressure exerted from the beneath so the molten material that flow on the surface is also termed as lava this is the first reason that is due to the water heat and pressure secondly movement of the plates now plate margins we know that there are different types of tectonic plates now this tectonic plates has plate margin or the boundary of the plates and this boundary of the plates are very sensitive areas and most of these volcanic eruptions and earthquake are basically found in such areas this is because this joints and lines of weakness enable the easy escape of the molten material from the beneath so this actually this margins are the areas weak areas okay when this uh, in this margin one plate one tectonic plate is moving from uh, away from the other in some areas it is moving towards each other so due to this movement the uh, it help in you know escaping of this magma to the surface these are the two main reason first one is due to pressure heat and water and secondly that is movement of the tectonic plates now let us see the different types of volcanoes now volcanoes are classified on the basis of mode of erupt eruption and secondly it is classified based on period of eruption now on the basis of mode of eruption there are two types central eruption and fissure eruption now what are all this we'll be discussing one by one first of all central eruption now, in this type of volcano volcanic eruption magma comes out through the small opening so due to tremendous pressure and pressure exerted by the accumulated gas beneath the magma fragments material etc are thrown out with great explosion so therefore results the central type of eruption is also termed as hence uh, central types of eruption is also termed as explosive type of eruption because it comes with violent 
sound and very uh, aggressive in an aggressive way right so this eruption is so rapid and violent that a lot of volcanic material is ejected up to the hundreds of meters in the sky now in this uh, in this type the material is accumulated around the vent and forms volcanic cones of various type so the central type of volcanoes are very destructive and are considered a disastrous natural hazard okay so this is all about central eruption now let us move to the next one that is fissure eruption now what is fissure fissure means cracks okay so fissure is a crack on the surface of the earth so the depth of such a crack can be a few meter or can may extend up to kilometers so in fissures erup in fissure eruption the magma comes out through many fissures or cracks as a result the pressure of the violent gas which forces the magma towards the earth's surface is distributed over a large area therefore the process of magma coming out is slow and quite you know quite process hence it is termed as quite type of eruption so fissure type of eruption is also known as quite type of eruption because it does not produce any sound okay the fissure you know crack is uh, it can be ext can extend up to kilometers so due to which it is not that much violent the pressure is distributed over a large area so therefore it comes very comes out very silently on the surface of the earth now <clears throat> the lava is spread over a large area this process is repeated many times thus the layer of the lava is deposited uh, very thick layer wise or the successive deposition of lava and ash results into the formation of sealed areas okay for example such type of you know uh, type of volcanic activities can be seen in the deccan plateau in india the peninsular india is one of the sealed area in the world canadian sealed is also an example of the sealed areas now this alternative layers of lava and ash bed shown in the above diagram you can see here are eroded by the external agencies such as rivers so this formation is also found in the ghats region of the deccan plateaus so this is all about the types of uh, volcanoes based on mode of eruption now let us see the classification of volcanoes based on a uh, period of eruption on the basis of period of eruption there are three types that is active volcano dormant volcano and extinct volcanoes now in case of active volcanoes as the name suggests active the lava gases and fragmented materials are constantly ejected from these volcanoes it is estimated that more than 500 active volcanoes are there in the throughout the world some examples like etna mount etna mount stromboli near the mediterranean sea are some of the active volcanoes and very important to note mount stromboli is also known as the lighthouse of mediterranean the reason behind this is it you know uh, it the emission is so continuous okay the continuous emission of, of burning and lim uh, luminous gases comes out through this volcanoes so most of the active volcanoes are found along the mid oceanic ridge because this is a region of uh, uh, you know a continental margin so this is why number of volcanic activities are found in the mid oceanic ridge secondly we have dormant volcanoes now this type of volcanoes are also known as sleeping type of volcanoes this volcanoes stop their eruption after erupting for some time now they had erupted many days before now the eruption has stopped okay there are in uh, in indications of various future eruption here means there are chances of eruption of this type of volcanoes again such sudden and violent eruption may cause great damage to human life and properties example of dormant volcano can be mount uh, vesuvius is an example of dormant volcano mount fujiyama in japan is also an example of dormant volcano okay it was first erupted mount vesuvius was first erupted in uh, ad 79 and then erupted in ad 1631 9 uh, 1800 18 3 1872 
and 1906 these are some of the uh, dates on this particular day this volcano erupted after that there is some gap in between this so this type of volcanoes are known as dormant volcanoes or sleeping volcanoes lastly we have extinct type of volcanoes these volcanoes have been active once upon a time many years ago however there is no indication of future eruption means there is death volcano we can say there are uh, these are also called uh, death volcanoes i told you the craters of such volcanoes is generally converted into a lake due to the accumulation of water in this particular uh, the craters of this uh, volcano so it is really very difficult to consider any volcano as extinct this is because due to the internal movement eruption may occur at any time in future so overall we can say that none of the volcanoes can be considered permanently uh, inactive because the internal activities is going on so due to which it that um, sleeping volcano or maybe the dead volcano can erupt once again due to the internal activities so we'll be discussing only up to this for today's class rest is rest about the landforms developed by volcanic eruption will be developed uh, will be studying in the next class thank you for watching the videos